in Sada, we are selected as an English, working in government degree college for Manor. Now we learn tense. Tense is very, very important in English grammar. Whatever we speak, whatever we write, we should have a tense. Tense divided into three types. The first one, present tense. And the next one, past tense and the last one future tense so tense is three types present tense past tense and future tense present tense means we know that is happening now in front of us we are in present tense Past tense means already happened yesterday or some days ago or a month ago or a year ago all come under past time and future means tomorrow that is about to come that is about to happen that is future tense. Now we learn present tense. Present tense is subdivided into simple present. The next one, present continuous. The third one, present perfect. And the last one, present perfect continuous tense. See, present tense is subdivided into simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Understand? Now, we take simple present. So, we take simple present. Simple present means we have to use present verb. Verb has three forms. For example, if we take the verb go, it is present tense and the past tense is when past participle is God. Go, went, gone. Like that, uh, every verb has three forms. This first form is present tense or we say it uh, present verb. In simple present, we have to use only present verb. It is very, very important. When the subject is third person singular, in present tense, we have to add yes or yes according to spelling to present the verb. That is very, very important. Remember, in simple present, we have to use only present to verb. If the subject is third person singular, we have to add yes or yes to present verb according to spelling. When to use simple present? It is very, very important. In what conditions we have to use simple present? Number one, remember, when you talk about habits, The tense should be simple present. It means the verb should be in present tense. Habits. Habits are daily practices. They work 
which we do every day, often, always, regularly, usually, generally, they all come under simple present. For example, I go for a walk every day. I go for a walk every day. So, it is a habit. It is a daily practice. The work should be in present tense only. If the subject is third person singular, let us take he. Then we have to add yes or yes. That means here the verb is go. We have to add yes to present verb. He goes for a walk every day. Like that. For example, if some name is there, Ravi or Sita or Mohan, they come under third person singular. Ravi goes for a walk every day. Sita goes for a walk every day. You go for a walk every day. We go for a walk every day. But for plural, like they, they go for a walk every day. So remember, simple present is used for habits. Habits are daily practices. Habits should be always in simple present. Whenever you write, whenever you talk, the verb should be in simple present. After that, we deal about general or universal truths. General or universal. Universal truths. So, what are general or universal truths? What are general or universal truths? They always, in a static condition, they never change. There is no change. They always in a same or in a static condition. For example, if we take the sunrise, the sun rises in the east. It happens always. The sun always rises in the east. Like that, uh, the sun sets uh, in the west. Like that, the earth moves uh, round the sun. Birds uh, fly in the air. Ice uh, melts. Man is uh, mortal. They are uh, general or universal truths. For general or universal truths, uh, the verbs should be always in simple present tense. For example, if we take the sun rises, rise is present verb, rise. So it is in present tense, sun is third person singular. We have to add yes to simple present. It becomes uh, the sun rises uh, in the east. For example, birds fly in the air. Birds, third person plural. So the verb is in present tense. Uh, we need not add yes to present to verb because the subject is plural. Words fly in the air. If we talk about a single bird, then we say bird flies in the air. Remember, simple present is used 
for general or universal truths that means when we talk about general truths or universal truths the verb should be in simple present tense that means in present form there is no change for this if the subject is third person singular then we have to add yes or yes according to spelling to present a verb remember simple present is used first for habits second for general or universal truths and the last one is future planned actions future planned actions what are future planned actions for example see the ssc exams start from Seventh June two thousand twenty one. The government issues a circular like this. The SSC exams in AP start from seventh June two thousand twenty one. If we observe this sentence carefully, it is a future planned action. now the running month is february the government announced that the exams ssc exams that are going to start in the month of june we have three or four months in between government planned and announced in the form of a circular if we observe the circular the sentence especially the verb the exams start the exams plural the verb is in present tense the ssc exams start present tense for future planned actions also the verb should be in present tense like that for example the president of india visits tirupati next month so it is like this the president of india visits tirupati next month it is confirmed it is a future planned actions if we observe the verb in this sentence visits visit is present verb visited past visited past participle so president of india third person singular we have to add yes to present verb the president of india visits we have to say remember simple present tense is used mainly in three conditions number 1 is habits and the second is general or universal truths and the third is future planned actions for all these three things the verb should be always in present form that means in present tense if the subject is third person singular we have to add yes or es to present verb according to spelling understand now we see the sentence structure 
if we observe positive or assertive the sentence is i go we go you go he goes she goes it goes ravi goes they go subject verb it becomes a complete sentence it gives a full meaning in present simple present tense it is a sentence like this we go you go he goes she goes it goes ravi goes they go they are full meaningful sentences if we want to write negative i do not go i do not go like this we do not go you do not go when it comes to third person singular he does not go she does not go it does not go ravi does not go they do not go then if we want to frame a question it is like this question or an interrogative sentence do i go like that do we go do you go and for third person singular does he go don't make the mistake does he goes never commit this mistake does he go does she go does it go does ravi go for third person singular plural do they go now we learn a negative interrogative how to write see i do not go this is negative how to write a negative question or negative interrogative sentence don't i go it is short to form so the long form is do not i go the short form is don't i go don't we go don't you go and for third person singular doesn't he go doesn't she go doesn't it go doesn't ravi go but for third person plural we say don't don't they go see try to learn the sentences first positive or assertive sentence in simple present i go we go you go 
for third person singular we must be always careful he goes she goes it goes we goes they go negative is i do not go we do not go you do not go he does not go she does not go it does not go ravi does not go they do not go question form is do i go do we go do you go does he go does she go does it go does ravi go do they go and negative question is don't i go don't we go don't you go doesn't he go doesn't she go doesn't it go doesn't ravi go don't they go now from the examination point of view verb forms are tested like this they right he dash read the geeta every day he dash read the geeta every day man dash be mortal like that five dash burn i usually dash sit in the fast bench so in the examination you are asked or you are tested like this he dash read the geeta every day every day is a habit the verb should be in present tense in brackets the verb is in present tense read the subject is third person singular we have to add yes he reads the geeta every day like that man dash be mortal b forms for third person singular the b form is man is mortal and five dash bird it is a, a natural truth so it is universal truth five is third person singular and bird is in present tense five birds like i usually dash sit in the first bench usually it denotes a habitual action so habitual actions should be in simple present tense it means the verb should be in present form sit it is in present form and i is first person singular no need to add yes i usually sit in the first bench for example i dash not go to college every day it is a negative sentence every day habitual action and uh, before verb work we have not it's a very simple i do not go if the subject is a he or she or she or some name he does not go to college every day understand so always keep in mind one thing whenever you write whenever you talk about uh, habitual actions or daily practices or universal truths or future planned actions remember only one thing the verb should be in present form if the subject is third person singular 
add yes or yes according to spelling for others that means for i for we for you and for they keep the present verb in the same condition don't add yes or yes to all don't make this mistake some of you commit this mistake some of you say i go it is totally wrong i go yes or yes added only for third person singular sir, in simple present so always remember in your lives simple present is used in mainly three conditions while dealing with the habits and general or universal truths and future planned actions it means the verb should be in present form if the subject is third person singular add yes or yes to present verb according to spelling understand okay